Yo, hello, how are you? <laughs> well, I'm sorry I hadn't really uh, made uh, my messages in English for a little while. Um, well, I was pretty busy in the month of May and uh, at the same time, uh, you know, I made several uh, messages in, in uh, Japanese, but I, uh, I was kind of procrastinating uh, making it the uh, English uh, messages. But uh, um, so I had to kind of uh, buck up. So um, now the, today's message is actually the message I prepare for the Mother's Day. I know that part of me. And so today's message uh, about the Mother's Day. Uh, so I'm going to talk about, about mother today. And uh, maybe you can use this message for next year. <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> Since, uh, this year's Mother's Day going to already pass. But I, uh, so the uh, subject of the message is about the uh, first mother uh, uh, that we know. Uh, her name is Eve. Uh, we probably all know that uh, the first woman is uh, her name was uh, Eve and we're gonna study from the book of Genesis about the life of first mother uh, Eve. Uh, the place is Genesis chapter 3 uh, start from verse 20. Uh, Genesis chapter 3 verse 20. Uh, if you have Bible uh, would you open the Bible for us and for me and um, um, I'm gonna read in uh, uh, NID uh, but I, let me read uh, chapter 3 verse 20 in the book of Genesis and um, ready? Okay. Adam named his wife Eve because she would become the mother of all the living. Now, it's, uh, she will become the mother of all living. Um, now, the name Eve is uh, actually uh, derived from the Hebrew word uh, that which meant that, uh, to live. So, the Eve is actually the uh, name uh, given to her uh, that uh, meant to live, the life or live. So it's, it's the woman uh, is actually going to give the life uh, to the child and um, uh, that meant that her name is to live. Uh, let, let me continue to read after this from verse 21. The Bible said that uh, Lord God made garment, for, garment of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. And the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So the Lord God vanished him from the garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. Now here's very interesting that uh, Eve was uh, named after men to live, but yet uh, uh, all the people uh, including Adam and Eve, we couldn't live forever. That uh, uh, due to the sin, uh, the, uh, we die. So uh, unfortunately, uh, even though the Eve, the mother, gave the birth and gave the life to children, but then uh, you know we all died, and that is the consequence that we have. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, next time uh, we, when we find the uh, name Eve is in uh, chapter four, verse one. Uh, so let's go into the uh, Genesis chapter 4 verse 1 and let me read what happened. Now the Eve gave, uh, gave a birth to the, her first child. Uh, Adam, I'm talking about, I'm reading from the chapter 1 verse 1. Chapter 4 ver verse 1. Ah. Uh, Genesis chapter 4 verse 1. Adam made uh, love to his wife Eve and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, with the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. Um, now, this part, uh, the, when the Eve said, according to the uh, NIV, that with help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. Uh, in the original Hebrew, uh, the Eve uh, is simply state that Eve obtained a, 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 a man, and like a, 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 a man, like uh, Jehovah and um, Yahweh, I mean. So, uh, some translation is uh, in English, such as a New English translation, it would translate like this. Now, the man had marital relationship with his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. Then she said, I, I have created a man, just as Lord did, just as Yahweh did. So, possibly, uh, the Eve meant that when she uh, uh, had the fight, first child, Cain, uh, she was saying that uh, I obtained a man just like uh, uh, Yahweh did. And um, uh, either way, 
the uh, name Cain is exactly what that man means, obtain, uh, or, uh, obtain or get. Uh, so possibly what that was uh, meant, like uh, what she was saying. Now, the, after she had Cain, as we all know, uh, she had a second child called, uh, named Abel. The name Abel is a very uh, peculiar name. It's meant uh, vapor. Uh, I don't. I don't think any parents will name nowadays, you know, child name vapor. But I. Uh, that that's exactly his name. But as a fact, the Abel life was very short. Uh, you know, he was killed by uh, his brother uh, Cain, and uh, indeed his life was disappeared like a vapor. And uh, some scholar uh, uh, believe that. Uh, Maybe Adam and Eve uh, named him uh, after he died, and to indicate that his life was like a vapor, and or maybe uh, he was like a vapor disappeared uh, from the uh, earth, and possibly that was meant what being recorded in the Bible. But either way, the uh, his name is Abel, which means vapor, and uh, uh, Eve, unfortunately, the first mother of all, she even though her name is to live. Uh, and she's the mother of all living, that's exactly what her name meant, but uh, she had experienced the death of her child. Um, the, the, she gave the birth, uh, birth to the Cain and the first child, uh, but then and his name is uh, Get or Obtain. Uh, however, uh, he's the one killed uh, second child, uh, Abel, and Abel's life was uh, disappears like a pain. And that's kind of sad. Then, the, uh, Eve, uh, Eve gave uh, birth to another child uh, after this, in Genesis chapter 4, verse 25 to 26. Uh, let me read that too. Verse uh, 24, 26. Adam made love to his uh, wife again, and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth, saying, God has granted me another child in place of Abel. Since Cain killed him, Seth, also had a son, and uh, uh, since Cain killed him, Seth also had a son, and he named him Enosh. At that time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. Um, here, uh, the uh, Eve uh, had uh, Seth after uh, Abel uh, died, and uh, uh, the Eve said, "God has granted me another child in the place of Abel." And uh, so that's what the uh, uh, that's what they uh, they had Adam and Eve had another son uh, in the place of Abel. Uh, she named him Seth, and Seth means uh, 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 granted or like um, uh, re uh, received or granted or given. Um, it's a it's a kind of similar name with a cane, but the one big difference is the cane is you obtain with your own strengths. However, the Seth means uh, you receive from God, you uh, granted uh, from God. The, apparently, the, uh, from the death of Abel, uh, the uh, Eve has learned that, uh, you know, uh, that when she gave the birth, the child will die eventually, and every child is actually given by God. Um, as a fact, from Bible recorded from that moment, that when the Seth was after Seth was uh, born, uh, they start to pray to God. Uh, it's here said that uh, in, um, at that time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. Um, apparently, before that, the Adam and Eve and also their children probably didn't really pray to uh, uh, God, but yet uh, they started to pray. And uh, the Eve definitely has changed uh, to the uh, mother of prayer. Um, she apparently realized that the children is uh, not really uh, uh, us obtain, but she actually uh, 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 received from God. It's not like a, we gained the kids, but we actually, uh, the kids was granted, given uh, by God, and uh, she really started to pray. Now she will, uh, that's basically, apparently, uh, if experience, uh, from her experience, she has been kind of a changed, and then she started to pray. Um, you know, I lived in the U.S. for many years, like, um, well, uh, I, I, I lived there for like 38 years. I came back to Japan like a year and a half ago, 
And uh, so when I lived in U.S. Uh, for what, like a 38 or 40 years close to, and uh, for many many years, um, I didn't really call my mom from U.S. And uh, but any any time I call uh, my mom. When I lived in when, when I lived in the U.S., when I called her, uh, you know, since we hadn't seen for each other for probably like five six years or even longer sometimes, and then every time when I called my mom uh, from U.S. to Japan, my mother said, "Oh, Kenji, are you still alive?" <laughs> That's exactly what she said. You know, she said, "Are you still alive?" Um, you know, my mom is uh, eighty five years old. Well, I think she would be eighty six years old. Um, you know, that's exactly what I wanted to say to her instead, but I, uh, she always said, I see a life, you know, but then, uh, I guess my, my point is, uh, mother seems always concerned about, uh, their, uh, uh children. I mean, at the, you know, my, uh, well, I'm 56 years old, but she's still, uh, thinking about me, and, uh, that's a mother. Uh, mother's always concerned and, um, kind of, uh, you know, concerned about their child, uh, no matter how old the kids will be, but then, uh, um, I realized there are the two type of mother, uh, like uh, the, the some mother uh, really concerned about children and uh, wanted their children to be successful, and, but at the same time the mother really worry so much. Um, you know, concern and worry, and worry become like um, un unease. Uh, you know, you start to kind of uh, worry and then kind of concern, worry too much, and then so on. Uh, there's no peace, uh, some mother are. But however, there's another type of mother, and that is a mother who really uh, depend on God. Uh, the, uh, this second type of mother, uh, they too concern about their child, but they do have a peace because they will uh, pray to God and they will ask God to raise your child and because their understanding is uh, uh, you didn't got the uh, children, actually God gave you children. Um, apparently that if uh, uh, experience both. Uh, if at uh, first I uh, gave the uh, first son named Cain, which means obtain uh, or gain. So, but then uh, the name when she gave uh, birth to uh, another son, uh, she named uh, Seth. After she experienced the death of uh, Abel, uh, she realized that the, every human's life is actually controlled by God, and uh, God is one gave us the life even though her name means life uh, she's not one give the life she's uh, her name is life yes indeed but then she she's actually uh, 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 received the life from God and so the uh, you know second type of mother uh, they have a peace in them because they pray to God and apparently that uh, Eve has learned to pray um, when I was preparing this message, um, I had an uh, uh, email from a lady and uh, I was very crushed with my heart because of uh, she was telling in the email that um, her child has some kind of uh, uh, mental defect when she was he was born and uh, apparently she has, she has go through the very hard time raising uh, her uh, child uh, because of uh, his uh, his mental disorder um, but then uh, I, you know I can kind of associate with that because my first son uh, he had a schizophrenia and uh, my son uh, he was very normal until 17 18 years old and um, uh, uh, even though I didn't live with him due to the uh, divorce and uh, you know uh, the like uh, more than half of his life, but then uh, he sometimes visited me in Chicago. And um, the, when he was around 17, when he visited me in Chicago, uh, you know I uh, I thought was he was 16 or 17. Either way, when he came to uh, Chicago, I gave him uh, like a driver uh, a driving lesson, and that was the time that he started to learn how to drive. And uh, but I kind of noticed he's a little a bit um, strange at that time. Well, until then, he was very normal kid, and he's very energetic, and definitely I thought he's going to have a bright future, but I uh, realized that he has kind of mental issue. Um, as a fact, that you know, time, sometimes uh, he's telling us that he like to uh, go back to the exactly same spot again, 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 
and uh, sometimes he was arrested by uh, police uh, due to the, his schizophrenia issue. He was taking uh, medicine to uh, cope with it, and but then definitely was hard for him. And uh, eventually, uh, he developed the cancer and the bone cancer, and then started kind of split all over him. And uh, unfortunately, he died when he was 22. Uh, but then in his very short life, like Abel, uh, the, he suffered with his mental health, and uh, the suffering was not only him, but also that affected the family. So uh, I understand it is very hard to raise a child, and uh, but for my case, um, since I'm a Christian, I pray. I pray to God, and the um, uh, more I pray, uh, there is incredible peace in me. Uh, because I know God is the one in control, and God is the one gave all the children to us. It's not that we obtain or we gain the child. And uh, I understand some parents uh, expect their children to be successful, and they want the children to be uh, great, and they definitely want the children to go go to a good life. Uh, but when they say good life, means they expect the children to work hard and uh, obtain their life or gain their life or gain the success. Um, however, that type of life always have some uh, uh, peace because of they always have to worry about future. They always have to worry about what will happen next. And the more you try to gain and obtain with your own strength, uh, there's some always, you know, uh, there some adversary that you cannot go beyond what you can do or some limit and um, so on. So. Um, just like uh, Eve has learned, we should learn to pray God, let God handle our life. And apparently that Eve learned that and uh, instead of really uh, uh, hoping, uh, you know, their success by their strengths, but Eve changed and uh, let God control their children's life and let them have success by the God's plan. Uh, according to God's plan. Uh, let me read from uh, the John chapter 20, uh, verse 19 to 22. Now, uh, going to New Testament. Uh, let me read chapter, John, John chapter 20, verse 19 to 22, uh, as I ended my message today. Um, John chapter 20, 19. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciple were together, with a uh, uh, disciple were together, with a door locked for fear for the Jew, uh, Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, "Peace be with you." After he has, he, uh, after he said this, he showed them his hand and side. The disciple were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, "Peace be with you." As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Uh, here, the Jesus uh, appeared uh, in the disciple. And the disciple was so afraid that they're going to be arrested by a Jew. And so, but Jesus, first time uh, when the, Jesus saw this disciple, he said, Peace be with you. Then Jesus showed his wound. Uh, you know, the, the, after the nails and the nail markers and all that, uh, he showed his wound and he said again, said, peace be with you. Now, all the suffering we have on earth, all the suffering the mother is going to have, a mother has, is actually Jesus already suffered for us. We don't have to suffer if we trust in Jesus. Without trusting Jesus, we don't have a peace. But by trusting Jesus, as he showed his wound to us, he suffered up on the cross for us. And as we trust, he will tell us the peace be with you. Because without Jesus, we don't have a peace. See, every, every one of us will die. But he died for us. He died all that pain that we had to go through from the death. And uh, he died for us. Uh, if we believe in that, uh, his word, we have eternal life. Uh, that Eve had to experience her child death 
every mother, unfortunately, even though we concern our children and uh, we worry about our children and we pray about our children, and uh, but the the fact is, every one of us, uh, every one of us will die, and our life end as a vapor. No matter how successful you or me or everyone will be, but no matter how hard you work, how hard you uh, uh, obtain your uh, uh, life and the money and the positions, no matter how much you obtain, like a cane, uh, that uh, eventually we, we die like uh, vapor, like uh, able. And that's what the Eve, the mother experience, and all the mother's suffering, the God knows. And he actually really had the uh, heartbreaking feeling about that, our suffering. So he went to suffer up the cross instead of us. So we don't have to suffer. Jesus actually showed his disciple uh, that after he said, be peace be with you, he showed that one to indicate that disciple that he suffered for them. Actually, he suffered for us. And um, then he tell us that uh, peace be with you. Um, now, let me read in uh, uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7 also. Uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Uh, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Let me read from First Peter chapter two twenty four also. Um, well, if you don't have, well, you don't have maybe have a time to open your Bible. So if you do, that's fine. But uh, let me read First Peter chapter two twenty four. He himself bore our sin in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. By his wound you have been healed. By his wound you have been healed. Jesus suffered for you and me. By trusting him, by letting him control our life, by accepting him as our Lord, we don't have to face death. And that is a great news, and that is actually hope that every mother should have, and every mother, ha well, the uh, a wise mother has found it, that uh, eternal life, and that is the greatest gift that we can give to our children, to everyone. Um, I know this message about the Mother's Day, and uh, I know there is a uh, many mother may have been suffering right now. If you are suffering, mother, come to Jesus. Because he actually suffered for you, so you don't have to suffer. And I know you have a great concern, but by your prayer, you let God know your concern. God is actually take care of you and give you peace. And that's exactly uh, God would like to give to every mother. Uh, God doesn't want mother to suffer uh, over their children's death or injured, because eventually the, uh, every one of us die if we don't know Jesus and his suffering but Jesus gave us the way to life uh, because he suffered for us instead by trusting that trusting his word uh, he promises and God trust, uh, promises that we're gonna have eternal life um, which is great which means we indeed have a life just like uh, the word life was named meant for the Eve and indeed, Eve, the mother, gave the life to children and with the help of God. Um, and um, definitely, the God is the one who gave the life to all of us. And um, uh, by trusting Jesus, we should have, we will have eternal life. Okay. Well, shall we pray? Lord, thank you for this message. And uh, indeed, um, you suffer on the cross for us by trusting that trusting you and accepting you as our Savior, that we have eternal life. Every child was born uh, through the mother, and every child, every mother have to experience the death of children and pain and concern. Uh, but more we understand, 
it, the children was actually given uh, by you. It's not by we obtain, and um, uh, the children was given by us uh, by you. And uh, so we pray to you that you're the one going to uh, raise uh, our child. Uh, we do our best to raise our child, but definitely with your help. And um, you gave us all the peace because you suffer for us. We depend on you, Lord. Thank you for uh, this message that you uh, uh, prepare for us. Just we pray. Amen. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye bye.